Chili is a peppery fruit that is used in many dishes all over the world including India. Chili is usually added as an ingredient in food to make it spicy. At present, they are used both as an ingredient in food preparations as well as medicines. Hi friends. Welcome to the Discover Agriculture YouTube channel. If you're not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe now. Introduction. Chili belongs to the family Solanaceae and is botanically known as Capsicum annuum. It is a small, yearly shrub with a straight, branched shoot. It also has a taproot system with very simple leaves. The flowers of the chili are white in color. Health benefits of chili Improves digestive health and metabolism. Alleviates migraines. May reduce risks of cancer. Fights fungal infections, colds, and the flu. Provides joint pain relief. Fights inflammation. Supports cardiovascular health. Promotes red blood cell growth. Keeps your hair and skin healthy. Varieties of chili. Usa Sadabhar, Usa Jwala, and Pan C1 are the chili varieties. However, many of the farmers are growing varieties procured from Pantandal for a long and even using their own seeds. Climate Requirement of Chili Cultivation The chili is a plant of a tropical and subtropical region. It grows well in warm and humid climates and has a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius. Best Season to Grow Chili Chili can be cultivated as kharif and rabi crops. Additionally, it can be planted at any time. The sowing months for the kharif crops are May to June while for rabi crops they are September to October. And if you plant them as summer crops then January and February are good. Soil Requirement of Chili Cultivation It is important to know that chilies need good moisture for growth. Black soil which keeps hold of moisture is perfect if they are grown as rain-fed crops. Under irrigated conditions, they need well-drained filthy loam with rich organic content. Land Preparation for Growing Chilies The land for chili cultivation is ploughed at least 2-3 to three times to bring it to a fine tilt. Unwanted materials present in the soil like gravel or stones must be removed. Seed Rate for varieties use a seed rate of 200 g per acre and 80 to 100 g per acre for hybrids. Sowing chili seeds. The seeds of chilies should never be pre-treated with chemicals. Instead, they must be treated with herbal fungicides. 80 grams of seeds will be needed for sowing in 1 acre of land. Seeds are treated with Pseudomonas fluorescens first and then mixed with Azospirillum. Afterwards, it is shade dried for half hour. Chili seeds are generally grown in nurseries and then the seedlings are transplanted. After sowing, the seeds must be properly covered with cocoa peat and watered daily till it starts germinating. Manures and fertilizers requirement for chili plants. In chili farming, 10 to 11 tons per hectare of farmyard manure or compost is applied at the time of field preparation. In chili for rain crops 50 kg nitrogen and 25 kg phosphorus should be applied. A half dose of nitrogen and a full dose of phosphorus were applied at the time of transplanting. The remaining dose of nitrogen was applied 30 days after transplanting. For irrigated crops 100 kg nitrogen, 50 kg phosphorus and 50 kg potassium should be applied per hectare. Fertilizers are applied in four equal doses. Weed control in chili farming. Raking of the soil at the time of fertilizer application and conducting to two three hand weeding are required to keep the field weed free. Watering required. Chilies cannot withstand a lot of water hence heavy rain and stagnated water could spoil the plants. In the case of irrigated crops, you should water only when it is essential. Continuous watering would lead to the shading of flowers and a burst of vegetative growth. Climatic conditions and soil type also decide the amount of water to be irrigated and in what frequency. Transplanting Before transplanting, 
the seedlings must be dipped in 0.5% pseudomonas fluorescent solution for at least half an hour. Now they are ready to be transplanted in the main field. The intercrop distance must be maintained at 45 cm during the plantation. Intercropping Chilies can be intercropped in a few places with the onions in paired rows. In simple words, two rows of chilies can be followed by one row of onions. This helps in weed control and brings additional income to farmers. Pest Management Some of the major pests of chili farming are thrips, nematodes, pod borers, grubs, aphids, mites, etc. Hence you need to ensure that only well-rotted manure is used. Also intercropping with onions would help avoid pest attacks. You can use neem seed kernel extract for controlling thrips and mites. Likewise, installing pheromone traps help control fruit borers. Harvesting of Chili Chili harvesting is done as per the planned use of chilies. If you want to make chili powders and dry chili, the fruits are harvested when the chili becomes dark red in color. And then the green fruit is taken out for preparing chili pickles. Also, make sure you pluck the ripe fruits at regular intervals. Yielding of Chili the yield varies according to the system of cultivation. The yield of dry chilies of the rain-fed crops is 200 to 400 kg and that of the irrigated crop is 600 to 1000 kg per acre. The proportion of dry to fresh jade chilies varies from 25 to 40 percent. Note: Do not cultivate tomato and chili crops in the same field or in a nearby field, as pests and diseases are similar. When it is intercropped with onion and coriander, it gives additional income and also helps in controlling the weed population. Bottom Line Its spicy farming and good profits are possible with proper chili farming techniques. Hope you like this video. Share this video with all your friends and don't forget to subscribe Discover Agriculture channel. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.